Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's a girl Nakisha. So for today's video, we're doing this makeup look that I'm wearing currently. I just want to remind you guys, if you love content like this, please to subscribe to the channel and thumbs up the video. Also, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you're doing with your makeup this summer. Are you going more flashy? Are you staying more neutral? Let me know in the comments. I always respond. I'm going to show you step by step how I achieve this. For me, I like neutrals. I like soft glam. So if you're a soft glam, I'm girly that don't like a lot of stuff on your face then this is the video for you and this is the home for you so remember to subscribe let's get into the video I hope you like it <laughs> Hi guys so i feel like i haven't seen you guys in a hot minute for this video i'm gonna do a sit down chit chat get ready with me i think i'm gonna curl up my hair first and then come back so for this video we're gonna do a nice soft look we're not gonna do anything too drastic or dramatic i saw my analytics and it's telling me that you guys like these makeup videos so i'm gonna try to do more makeup videos but i also got some new subscribers to the channel and i just want to thank you guys so much for subscribing my name is nakisha i upload vlogs let me put on some lip gloss come and lip chop <laughs> sorry about that so over here i upload vlogs lifestyle videos makeup videos hair videos skin routine videos we are chaotic over here so thank you guys so much for subscribing and i appreciate the fact that you subscribed so that means you mess with the content and for you guys who are not subscribed as yet please to go ahead and do so it is absolutely free to subscribe to my channel the 24 amount of you guys over here i'm so grateful because i remember when i only had zero subscribers so cheers to the 24 of you guys over here i really appreciate it but let's get into the video i already curled my hair and i'm gonna do a little soft makeup glam listen i'm not the girl that do the the whole heap of eyeshadows and the colors and stuff like that i am not that girl and i'm never going to try to be something i'm not i like skin makeup i like when my makeup is wearable on any occasion said so this is going to be a chit chat video anyway so i'm gonna chat a lot i'm gonna ramble a lot because i miss you guys i haven't sat down and done a video in a very long time let me just take a sip of my tea Ooh. it ain't hot i put my mirror here no it's gonna be too high i feel like i already show you guys how to do your eyebrows and i explained in a couple videos already the last time i went to the threading lady i feel like she did a very good job because this is the longest my eyebrows have stayed without me having to rush to her i think i went to her maybe two to three weeks ago she did well so what's been going on guys i'm gonna tell you what's been going on with me so basically if you don't know i quit my job my 95 job maybe a month ago and i'm not gonna tell you that things has been easy for me it has not been easy and i'm not gonna sit here and lie but it hasn't been hard either i'm just glad that i have the support system that i have and usually i would feel like i don't have anybody but every time you're going through something in life it don't matter what it is you see as long as you have god in the midst imaga always send a good samaritan especially when you have a good heart and favor upon your life god is going to always send you somebody no matter what you're going through to support you i'm in a stage state right now where i have to be just watch myself and the thoughts that i have because i tend to have a lot of negative thoughts and negative thinking and it's because of my traumatic past like i, I tell you guys all the time and the thing is that when you have experienced so much in life kind of hard to like not affiliate with it and i feel like you know the mind tend to like stray to the negative thoughts first so i have to watch my thoughts this this maybelline fit me concealer i think i have the foundation as well guys if you are a beginner doing makeup you see these you don't have to get iron brands to do your makeup these are very good makeup products you know i never knew this concealer was so good this is a very good concealer and look i have multiple concealers i even have this one the barn this way concealer this is a good concealer but you see this for an everyday look this is in the shade what shade is this it says camouflage conceal camouflage i don't know that's all it says but this is a maybelline concealer and it's very good and i have the maybelline foundation here as well my color is 335 i absolutely love these products 
I swear by Maybelline foundation. If you don't have the money, get some Maybelline products. I'm just gonna clean up my eyebrows real quick and we're gonna finish talking a little. Guys, I already did this before. You guys are supposed to have this spot by now. Eyebrows is something where you have to master on your own. You see, because everybody have a different frame of face. So your eyebrow now gonna look identically like mine, and mine now gonna look identically like yours. You have to master your eyebrow, and by mastering it, you have to practice. Go to the place and get a nice threading first. You want to make sure you're growing out your eyebrows. Grow out your eyebrows, and then go to the eyebrow place and have them thread your eyebrows. I'm not with the waxing. I'm not gonna tell you to wax your eyebrows ever. I know what wax did to me. Wax burn your skin. Do not wax your eyebrows, guys. Go get your eyebrows threaded. That's what the Indians do, and they've been doing it. And you see Indian hair, it's very thick. So go, go get your eyebrows threaded. So grow out your eyebrows, get them threaded, and get a shape. Once you get a shape, you don't have any issues with like arching your brows how you want them to stay or you know just shaping them however you want them to stay or look i bought these lashes if you're wondering from amazon and that's what i'm wearing i don't put on the full thing i cut them up and then i apply them one by one maybe i'll do a video the next time i'm doing it so you guys can have an idea because for me to use the whole strip it's not locking in so i had to cut them up but I like how fluffy they are okay so i was talking about eyebrows and you know just um getting your own shape this the also the other thing with makeup that a lot of people don't tell you you see like how when you take a picture and you have to angle your body if you go up on instagram you know what i mean they, they know the angles they know the angles they know how to take the picture they know how to pose to look slim make the belly look flat and the butt look fat it's called angle you have to know the angles of your face just like how the girl them know the angles of them body by instagram when once you learn the angles of your face then you're not gonna have any problems applying your makeup you're gonna know what works for you and whatever works for you you stick to it okay i didn't wash my face i just use a wet rag because i have lashes on and they tend to fall out if you wash your face too soon so i never really wash my face or oh, normally wash it my skin has been doing absolutely great and i'm so grateful because the other day i was looking in the mirror and i never really identify myself oh if you guys are wondering i'm using the mac foundation uh this is the color nc45 to do the top of my brows okay i was trying to not put my mirror right there but i realized that i need to put it there because i have to see what i'm doing so i put my elf primer on guys if you hear a noise in the background that is the fan blowing sorry for that but it's the summertime so it's hot outside so the other thing that i wanted to talk about is being burnt out like i don't feel like a lot of us are talking about that where you work so much it's like you burn yourself out i've always been an independent woman i've always been the type of woman to like you know be in our bag and getting our own and just doing our own thing because you know i hate depending on people for anything i hate calling anybody for anything and hearing no so from a very young age i've been on my own and i've been doing life yeah but i figured me working hard this is the makeup by mario foundation me working hard and being focused i would you know reap the benefits of that and i'm learning that sometimes you just have to chill yeah you just have to relax because you killing up yourself you're just hurrying up for dead quick i'm telling you money is nice and all and the material stuff is nice but none of it don't matter if you're dead some of you guys are following me if you don't know i'm jamaican so every now and then you're gonna hear me chip in between english and patwa i'm color correcting guys it doesn't make sense to be working and killing out yourself just for hurry up and get there so them always say that life is a journey right 
and it's the things that you you go through in life it's not necessarily the place that you reach because every time you get somewhere it's almost like you have a different agenda a different goal i guess that's what i mean by life is a journey because no one thing is gonna ever satisfy you because the humans as humans we were created to create so at the end of the day we're never going to be satisfied after we finish one goal we're gonna want to pursue another goal and you have to give yourself the grace that you need i'm adding my foundation now you have to give yourself some grace I realize that I'm very hard and critical on myself because I'm not with part of family legacy. So I have to create my own and do what I have to do. I've done some crap in my life that I had no business doing. But because of survival, I had to do what I had to do. But like my mother always tell me, say, you know, do things out of desperation, yeah, my love. So right now at this point, I'm just just giving myself some space and the grace that I need to get where I need to go because honestly I was so burnt out I was working 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 constantly just working burning myself out I never know say that me I do just showing up for others and not showing up for myself like that is crazy oh that system you set and trust me Some of us, if we don't work, we don't have nobody to rely on for anything. We have to keep a roof over our heads because we are come from a place where people can be very judgmental of you. So you have to, you know, keep your head on your shoulders and do what is necessary to survive in this place named America. Because trust me, the, the game rigged, it rigged and nobody's talking about how badly it is rigged the system it is it is set up for one set of people to to survive and the other set of people to suffer that's basically what is going on and maybe some people are experiencing differently but it's coming it just don't knock on your door as yet trust me it is coming and i hate when people talk about how oh you need to work hard you need to work hard because oh if you don't work hard you're not gonna reap what you need to reap that is also bullshit you will work yourself hard and work yourself into the ground six foot six don't work hard work smart i was working very hard and like i said i burned myself out just offering myself to people stressing myself over work and what other people had going on and i literally burned myself out so i'm in better spirits now and i know within because maybe i have testosterone now because you know you know the woman body work i just came off my cycle so now i have a little bit of energy but i'm telling you i'm gonna go back down soon maybe in the next two weeks or so i'm gonna be in a very nasty mood and a very nasty zone all over again but we just give God thanks for everything and just keep in focus on doing what we need to do. You know? So this is basically what my skin look like after I color corrected and I put on my foundation. You see that boy here? Yeah? Makeup by Mario. I don't know when I'm putting on the foundation yeah. It coming like crack. Guys, look at my freaking skin. Look at my skin. And I have to tell you guys this too. You see, skincare, skincare is absolutely important. But this foundation, chef's kiss. I'm telling you, it's absolutely amazing. So the other topic that I wanted to talk about that I keep seeing on the internet is the 50-50 conversation. I personally, I don't like to have the 50-50 conversation because... I'm not going to sit down and do no 50-50 with nobody boy Pitney. So it's not really my topic to talk about because it's not something that I agree with. And you might agree with it and take offense from it. It's not something that I feel like females should succumb to. I was watching... Um, hold on a minute. Sorry about that. So I was watching love and hip-hop the other day right 
and my hair is getting in the way i have to clip it up hold on a second let me try to clip this up so i was watching love and hip-hop the other day right and some of these women they jump into these relationship thinking that it's going to complete them or thinking that they have the ability to change men i'm not gonna sit here and be judgmental towards those type of women because i also had that mindset the only difference with me is that i'm not quick quick to commit to anything because honestly i know what i want and the fact that i know what i want it drive men crazy they don't like me because i know what i want and they can't control me and men they like to control so because they realize that i know what i want it's almost like they, they don't want to deal with me because of it not that i have a problem with that but i say that to say this i was watching love and hip hop the other day and this girl she has three kids with the man she she they're married by the way then i heard her say something like i'm letting my concealer dry down this girl is going to say in the in the clip you haven't been paying your half of the rent three kids are you married are you still have your pay half of the rent you you really sit down there with three kids and a pay half of the rent with a man i not do that you could be paying all of your rent with no kids by yourself why are you giving somebody a womb and then still a pay half go half and half with them why is that a thing why is this a culture thing i don't understand it because to be honest me not really know them style me not know about that so me not understand it so if you understand it just comment down below and explain it to me but me personally me not really want to explain it to me either because i'm not interested your mother figure sacrifice with you as she have you make she go do 50 50 with you me rather sit down and do 50 50 with my mother than do 50 50 with a man you're bright you crazy what not do as women what not really sit down and do with them man yeah both 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 him not pay for him half of the rent i have three pitney with him eh and him i him for out there hunt and i come pay the rent if you want to pay the rest of the little bills around the house like the cable bill you do that him for him for provide the food and the roof over on the head what are you doing so at them conversation you only sit down on the podcast and i have me not have none of them conversation yeah with nobody boy pity because you see me one thing me know how to do is stay alone and men like to force that narrative on women oh you're gonna die alone let me can assure you this if you're a young girl and you're watching this a man is going to die before you so they like to force that narrative on and talk about oh oh you're gonna die alone it's okay because you ever there with him, you might gonna die before you anyway. So it don't matter. We all coming out of the world alone. We all are gonna die alone. So nobody mean nobody boy Pitney. I mean some women they have a different mindset because you know them grow up in other household with family, you know, all of that. So a lot of women are family oriented and they want that dream. But I can just sit here and tell you that the way this life is set up, you can't wait for nobody to give you your happiness. You have to go find that for yourself. And another thing what I want to talk about that this whole thing when I'm happiness. I realize that people like to say, oh, you're not living life because, you know, you're not the type of person to be outside and, you know, drinking every weekend and having a lot of friends and, you know, doing the most and all of that. But sometimes there are other people who like to sit still. I'm one of those people or one of those persons. I really like to sit still. I like to stay by myself. I like to reflect. I like to relax. I like to lay down. I like to read. I like to sit in a nice comfortable zone and drink my coffee because as as i grow up i realize what i like from what i don't like and i used to i used to be the girl on the yachts you know drinking passing out you know clubbing doing the mood but as i get older i realize that mm, no that's not really for me but gradually as you grow you realize what is for you and what is not for you 
and I'm here to tell you that they're gonna define you by the things that you're interested in and the things that you're not interested in but it is okay it's okay to say no I don't want to go here I don't want to do this I want to stay here because this is what I enjoy and I don't enjoy this every weekend there's a lot of people that don't really want to go outside you know them just easily influenced you're easily influenced by what other people are doing and you have to content in a yourself and your life where you are live and no say I this me like do and I this me I go do because I this me like and it takes a while for you to get there trust me it takes a long time for you to get there I re one time somebody came to me and said to me say I realize that you're not very outgoing and at the time I didn't recognize it in myself and then eventually I realized that hmm, maybe she's right but there's nothing there's absolutely nothing wrong with that <laughs> yes there's times that I want to go out and you know enjoy myself but it's when I don't really have no company some people like to talk about oh oh do it by yourself it's not as fun to do it by yourself but I don't really go out because I don't really have you know friendships like that either and it's by choice okay you know certain relationships they weren't really satisfying me anymore and you know sometimes you grow young people grow out of each other and that is also okay you, know, you have to learn to like like every area of your life that you go it's a different experience so you also have to create your own circle go make new friends that people say that it's hard to make friends when you're older because no you know i'm in my 30s and i don't really have any you know friends like that but you have to learn to talk to people and you know make new friends find people that are interested in the things that you're interested in say for example i'm into books I'll find a little book club or interested in coffee find a nice little cafe stuff like that you have to like go out there and you know, make new friends but to be honest sometimes i'm so lazy i'm not really interested but you have to do it though you have to do it or you're gonna keep going back to your old ways because the newness is not familiar and sometimes it makes you sad so instead of sitting down in a room like me and pouting away, go outside and talk to people. Yeah, go outside and talk to people and make new friends. Some of these old, old habits that we have, we'll have to let them go. We'll have to let them go. Now I feel like I'm just chatting. <laughs> I am powdering the center of my face right now. As you guys can see, I'm not really putting a lot of powder. I'm just um, putting it here. Anyways, if you guys are wondering, I am also single and I'm not dating right now. I have to focus on me. I'm chilling. I'm really not interested in the male the male sex right now either them aggravating them need healing and them not admit it but this is what my face looks like after i've concealed and now i'm gonna contour today we're working with this palette this is a og palette right and let me take some tea I absolutely love this palette I'm always gonna love this palette this is the BR cosmetics palette it has three things in there contour sculpt and highlight so we're gonna contour so we're gonna this is our angle brush by the way so I'm not gonna do any cream contour contour here the highest point of my face I contour I've recent too the other thing that I've been doing I've been staying off of Instagram a lot I personally feel like Instagram is dead and they're holding on for their life over there algorithms suck over there every time you click your explore page 
All you see is BBL. Girl in a BBL, that's it. It come like, why I mean I know? People just have Instagram for show off them nice pictures. Because, I don't really see no substance over there. So I really not go over there anymore. Like I used to. See that? See that? And contour it up. Mm-hmm. 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 I didn't set my eyelid. So it's kind of shiny. This is how I do my makeup 99% of the time. Like just simple but that's the contour i'm also gonna sculpt too me and one girl of course the girl them say you know the dance that they, she said she got one dance and all of the girl them look the same them have the aunt's body <laughs> everybody like them go to the doctor and say they want to shape the same way why may i tell you now why wanna run go do that and put the silicone in our body? No mind my business. Cause at one point me did I say me not do body too, but no only now for look the same way. Only look like an idiot. With the whole I wanna shape the same way. Everybody's supposed to me big, somebody else supposed to skinny, somebody else supposed to medium. That's the way how it should be. Everybody run into this doctor to get this this surgery done. Well, if you guys don't realize everybody all of the celebrities them taking the stuff out of them body because they don't want to look like you know so anyways i'm contouring my nose i'm gonna stop it here before them say me i eat pan them and them design a body <laughs> I have a crush for one, into, one YouTuber. Me say me love the boy. Me just sit on every day and I watch him. Like a stalker. I love him. But them boy, they, them up here yelling at them DM and them little something. Me can't bother with that. Me can't be too up in my age right now for ya. Compete over man. Me can't do that something there. So I'm just low him. Me did I go send him a, well I sent him a DM and then I deleted it. Cause I'm like, girl no. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. No do that. The boy I find though in dark skin. Oh Lord. I love a dark skin man. But like when my man them dark skin, you know them way eh? And them teeth just white. You know them way eh? yeah and i'm just rough <laughs> but handsome anyway this is my thrive cosmetics palette i'm gonna go in with something out of here today i'm probably gonna go in with this shade right here because it match my contour and then i'm just gonna go into my crease with it just to give my eyes a little bit of color you know nothing too dramatic i absolutely love this palette it's very pigmented is my mother that gave me this palette and i've had it ever since very pigmented and i absolutely love it come on the boy nice 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 in nice but in famous i mean i really like when them so famous either like my man them low key in famous but him not up in that you know them boy they were famous but not to open at the the spotlight that's him and i think that is very sexy <laughs> i think that is very sexy he's so cute oh my god so cute but he's a little bit younger you know they say men don't mature until they're like 33 and above. Ay, ay, ay. No, I'm going to focus on myself. 
I'm not from man. My face is getting sweaty. That's why you guys hear the fan in the background because it's very hot in this house and the AC them on, you know. You see right here, my T zone. Okay, guys, I was getting hot. Uh, let me just set my face again. Let that just dry down. Okay, I am going to put on some eyeliner. I don't even know where I reach in the video because I had to stop it because I was getting super hot. I'm putting on some eyeliner. But him nice and him same don't have no girlfriend and him say him no want a girlfriend right now. So what the hell? <laughs> You see what we talk about a while ago when we say you always have women going in men's life thinking that they can change them. Oh, him say do not want a girlfriend, but let me go date him anyway because maybe I'm going to be the exception of the rule. Fuckery. Stop! I know man alone toxic, you know women toxic too. Come on. Like, why would you think, oh, this man same don't want a relationship but still go date him. And then now when you get your heart broken, you blame the man. Oh, why did you do this to me? Girl, shut up. This video is going to be super chaotic. Let me put some poor there, so. Because, honestly, I don't really have a script reading off for. I had some valid points coming on to the, 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 the camera, right now, guys. But you see, usually, I'm doing a little baking because I'm sweaty, so... I'm just going to bake a little bit. I have good points when I'm coming on camera, but the minute I come on camera, I forget everything when I say. I don't know if I true me know I'll be recorded or what, but I become super nervous and forget everything that I was um, about to come on the camera and talk about. I, I just want to tell you guys today to give yourself some grace and know that everything is going to work out and life isn't like one flat surface it goes up it goes down it goes around but as long as you stay focused and don't settle for anything i have this tendency where i want better but i accept less you can't want better and accept less it don't work like that if you say you want more then you have to settle for more you have to learn to say no when something is not working out for you and not think oh maybe you know if i sit here and i settle for a little bit that will come sometimes the thing what you accept is block blocking the thing that you ask for so you know just go on, just go and hold it you just go and hold it that's what i'm one telling you right now go and hold it because nothing never stay forever you know nothing is going to always stay the same forever everything is changing even the world right now at the end of the day i'm just saying that you know nothing stays the same and when life ready it ready my my in you know, my time my mother probably did i say oh the world is not gonna end we have said the same thing now oh look on the state of the world the world are gonna end da 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 you know maybe the generation after we are gonna say the same thing about the world ending da 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 but at the end of the day if you have life you have hope you have brother and you just have to ride it if father got to wake you up you just know say so you keep the creator in everything that you're doing and him alone can tell you whether or not what to do and a lot of people they like to create these narratives and make it seem like say you know oh as somebody else has sailed a ship yeah listen all that we need for have a supreme being i don't know what you want to call him anything you want to call him you call him but a supreme being a higher power i control all of this you know whenever you feel like say you're down and you're out you just Get in contact with that person there. And he will pull you through. He will pull you through. Trust me. No matter what. No matter how small it is. Because sometimes we don't see how blessed we are. Because my life not perfect. Sometimes we forget to give thanks for the small mercies and the small blessings. 
because God has been very good to me. If you guys don't know, I have another channel that I'm unable to access right now, right? It's called Miss Chinchilla. And on that channel, I used to upload because I used to take YouTube very seriously, right? And I used to try to make it very like perfect. But you see the minute I decided I'm just gonna do this shit for fun. I'm enjoying it more. Makeup is something that I like. Of recent, I don't really see the reason for me to sit and put my makeup on if I'm not doing anything. Especially the fact that the products are so expensive and everything is so expensive now. I don't see the point in sitting down and just doing my makeup, you know? So, I haven't really been like doing as much content as I would like but at first that's what I used to do I used to just sit down and serious about it and oh let me upload no and da 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 but when I really when I when I realized that I was like doing it out of perfection or being the perfectionist that I am I wasn't getting the results that I needed because I knew how much work I was putting in and it just discouraged me and that's why I stopped I love it so I start again but this time we are be with self and we are do what we love to do and not because we're looking for any results so that's why I'm saying thank you guys for the 25 of you that subscribe over here and I hope it grows or 24 I think it's 24 I hope it grows you know it, it gets even bigger you know but thank you guys so much for each and every one of you that click like on the video or you know share it or whatever you do I'm so grateful I'm really grateful thank you so much all right I have this mama I will never let you down you never go away I'll always be around I have this old 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 blush palette but I like this thing right here and that's what I'm gonna use today I don't want to use my orange blush today I want to use pink cuz I'm a Barbie girl I'm in my Barbie world it's in plastic it's fantastic. <laughs> gotcha. Somebody, somebody. You can touch my hair and dress me anywhere. No, you can't undress me anywhere. Check out the blush. You no, know, so I'm not really talk about the makeup, but this is a get ready with me chit chat. But check out the blush. So cute, eh? Put the makeup on your nose. Can put blush anywhere you want. I'll find your forehead. I'll find your chin. You just put some color in your face. Hey, one thing you can't tell me now. You can't do this and beat me now. My makeup is concerned, you know. Yeah, OG panda something here, you know. Just that, I'm gonna take it too serious. Set it. Alright, the next thing I want to do is my under eye cleanse mascara. I have so many products that I want to try or use but I don't know you know what let me do this so that I don't mess up my um my under eye that my eyes are done I just set my face I'm just fluff up my eyebrows a little bit this is why I like going in when my eyelashes are done already. So I don't have to put on no concealer. This one is falling off, you know. Is it? It looks like it. Let me set my face again one more time for the road. Alright, now I'm going to do my lips. What am I going to wear for my lips? A long time I'm gonna wear some color lipstick and you know, look look at this pink. This is a matte pink bomb. This is a matte orange bomb. This 
this is a, a matte this is in the color honey honey what honey honey love this is a oldie but goodie Turn out. Ooh, I love this so neutral I only put it in the center of my lips like this outside of my lips I'm going in with my favorite Mars lippy in bound right now now it's looking pink Oh God, my face feels set, you see? Like really set. The camera is not giving my makeup any justice right now. My face look absolutely bomb, bro. Like seriously. But anyways, I'm gonna pull out my hair. Let's see what these curls are giving. Cause I'm probably gonna have to curl my hair over. Cause they never want to give what I, ooh. Ay, ay, ay. Come on. Oh, so my curls are here. I thought they wouldn't be here, they would be gone. I need to fix my edges. Hmm. I feel like I want to put on some lip gloss. But I can't use this applicator. It's high energy and then my social battery just run all the way down. But this is my hair. Should I show you guys from the back? What's going on? that's it from the back and okay. yeah guys so this is the finished look of my get ready with me uh fresh face makeup very much just fresh and ready to go so i just want to thank you guys for watching and yeah it's your girl miss chinchilla remember to like share and subscribe so i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>